if it's the Holy Spirit's work and if it's his choice, does that then eliminate the authenticity of human response? Well, no, it doesn't eliminate the responsibility, the authenticity rather of human response any more than a mother and a father's sovereign choice to have a baby eliminates that baby's authentic response of crying for mama when she's born. Doesn't do it any less. Does, does the parent's sovereign decision to have a baby, does that make her cries when she's born in the delivery room irrelevant? Those aren't real. Oh, of course they're real. Those mean something. But did that baby do anything to bring her life about? Was she a part of the discussion whatsoever? No. It was her mother and her father. But it doesn't eliminate the authenticity of her cry. I need my mom. I want my mom. And I know exactly what to do when I get to mom because I'm born of mom. It doesn't eliminate it whatsoever. In fact, what do we call a baby that won't cry out for a mother? We call that baby a stillborn, don't we? won't cry, won't respond. So in the same way, if there is not the presence of a response to Jesus, of faith in Jesus by that individual, we don't call that person a Christian. A baby that won't cry for mom is not alive, and a Christian that won't, a Christian that won't profess faith in Jesus is not alive. 